Good morning, gangs. My mind's here again. Let's grab our Bibles, the book of James, back of the New Testament. Now, remember who we're studying about, what we're studying about? It's the book of James. It was written by Jesus's stepbrother, James. It was written to the Jews. Now, let's find out what he has to say in his letter. This is a letter to, to the Jews, okay? So, the first, um, the first verse is kind of like, dear JJ, dear Melody, dear Arthur. Um, it's 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 saying it's a it's telling who the book is addressed to. Okay, so we've already gone over that who it's addressed to, who it's talking to. Let's find out what he's saying in his letter. So verse two it says, my brethren. Okay, he is putting himself close to the people he's writing to, okay? He says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Okay, now this is not talking about that type of diving, okay? I know all of you are crazy about diving. Okay, this means that word diverse means different types of temptation. Now, let's read that verse. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into different types of temptation what? We're supposed to count it joy. We're supposed to be joyful when we fall into temptation and trials and troubles in our life. God wants us to be joyful. Really? Okay, now I want to back up a second and we're going to talk about the difference between joy and happiness. Okay? Happiness, that word comes from the first part of that word, hap, happenings. What's happening around you? Sometimes the things that are happening around us are not fun, okay? There have been times when we've been here in Scotland and it hasn't been fun, period. Do you ever have days like that? I'm sure you do. You have to go to school. Mom and Dad tell me I have to go clean up my room. That's not always fun, but what does the Bible say? It says, count it all joy, okay? Well, how can... How can I have joy when everything around me that's happening is not good, okay? Happiness dep depends on our happenings, our, the circumstances of our life. Joy comes from something deep inside us that God gives us in our heart. A peace, a comfort, a knowledge that he's still in control no matter what. So do you see the difference between happiness? Happiness depends on anything that's happening around us. Joy depends on God. Hmm. He says, James says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. When you have a lot of trouble in your life, God still wants us to have joy in our life. Have you ever been in a situation where it's not been the greatest, but you had a peace in your heart that no matter what was happening, I can still be joyful. Even if it's not fun, even if it's hard, even if it's, oh, the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, I can still have joy. That's what James is saying. God wants us to have his joy. It depends on him. How much are we trusting him to be in control of our life? If he's put something bad, something hard in our life. It's for a reason, isn't it? It's to improve us. You know, most of the time, if we're having a great, if everything's going right, there's no problems, it's sunny all the time, you're never being rained on. Here in Scotland, you're always rained on, by the way, just to let you know. <laughs> but but there are days when everything, everything's going right and you think, oh, this is just great. But then there are other days and things aren't going right. And yet God is still in control. And the thing is, when everything's going right, we don't depend on God, do we? We depend on the things around us. Why do we have to depend on him? Because everything's going right, we don't need him. God works the most in our life when we're going through trials, when we're going through hard times. So the next time you have a really bad day, think about this. Who's in control of that? Who changed the circumstances around you? God's in control. 
and he wants us to count it all joy when you fall into different trials and temptations. Count it all joy. Hmm. Do I look to God and say, thank you for putting that trial in my life. I can trust you. You know, God is always there and, and, and all we need is to trust him to know that he's going to take care of it no matter what it is. No matter if it's a great day or a horrible, terrible, very bad day, we are still supposed to have joy. We're going to talk about this more next week when we get together. So count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Trusting God gives us joy. Did you get that? Trusting God gives us joy joy. You might want to remember that. I love you. I hope you're having a great day, even if the circumstances around you aren't the perfect thing. I hope you're having joy today. Bye-bye.